Hello and welcome to the Redline Solutions webinar. I'd like to give a big thank you for everybody joining us this morning for our session on the latest on Android solutions. So we're very pleased to have Zebra Technology sales engineer Matthew Chu with us today and of course our very own Todd Baggett. Here is today's agenda. So a little bit about Redline Solutions. We were established 22 years ago and are headquartered in Santa Clara, California. We're a leading system integrator with extensive knowledge of barcode, UDI, vision, and RFID data capture and identification systems. We work closely with our clients to develop a most suitable cost-effective solution for their needs and have a variety of support options to keep those systems running smoothly. We specialize in warehouse management, inventory control, asset tracking, healthcare, and product labeling systems, and work with many types of customers from Fortune 500 to startups. We also have our own in-house development team that created a suite of SaaS and server-based inventory and traceability solutions for the produce industry, which are implemented in accounts across the US and Canada. In order to provide our customers with optimum solutions for their business and budgetary needs, we partner with many great companies, but we are very proud to be a Zebra Premier Business Partner, and Zebra also kindly sponsoring today's event. Our offering also includes Wi-Fi, networking, and partner software solutions. So without further ado, I'll pass you through to Matthew. All right. Uh, thank you, Adrian. And uh, welcome, everybody, and uh, good morning. Um, hope everyone is doing well. I'm going to go see if I can advance to the next slide here. Let's see. Okay, there it is. Yeah, without uh, making assumptions regarding our audience, I do want to make sure that uh, the audience knows who Zebra is, right? So we're a $8.3 billion company with offices worldwide. We're a manufacturer of mobility solutions, working with our partners like Redline Solution, your know, host today, to deliver enterprise-grade solutions, right? More than 95% of our customers are the Fortune 500 companies. So we're a well-established, mature company, and our solutions are field-proven. Now, so today's topic is really about elevating your warehouse operation or your business operation to the next level. Yesterday's devices, uh, most likely are Windows mobile devices, weren't made for today's demand. And we'll talk about what those demands are and, um, and help you hopefully today, by the end of the day, uh, help you consider or investing, starting to invest in, a, in the Zebra Android devices, the more modern uh, type of devices with faster uh, processing power and to really to, to have a better performance, right, on your, on your business applications and to really truly give you uh, that competitive edge that you seek in your business operation. And, and we're, we're very positive that you know, Redline Solution along with Zebra can assist you in making that transition. Now, many of you in the past six months, uh, you know, most likely have made an online purchases. Online shopping is surging. You know, our study shows uh, that e-commerce will be $4.5 trillion uh, by 2021. In today's on-demand economy, uh, those who order online wants the product now, right? So delivery times have shrunk and rising peak seasons are the new norms. Now, also what we're seeing, other challenges are high labor turnover and constant need to train and retrain new hires. Really what this boils down to uh, is no longer business as usual for warehouses in today's uh, demanding economy. So to, to adapt, Warehouse must uh, accelerate the pace of order fulfillment, minimize those errors, ensure inventory is accurate, uh, and simplify training for faster onboarding of workers, right, uh, of their labors. And we'll go through how that can be achieved in, in, in a little bit here. Okay, hopefully my, my slide transition are up to 
today. So I just want to kind of pause a little bit before the transition there. Okay, so now on this slide, you know, you might think that, you know, staying with the old technology seems like the safest business solution or decision rather, right? Uh, market pressure are already impacting warehouses and will only escalate, right? So outdated legacy Windows mobile technology is not structured to help warehouse keep pace with the e-commerce today uh, demand and workforce challenges they're currently face. Now change is inevitable, right? Windows Mobile and CE, as you kind of see on this slide, has been uh, for the past 15 years, the mobile computing for the warehouse is going to end, right? The extended support for these operating system ends in 2020 and 2021, right? Depending on whether you're running Windows Mobile or Windows CE. There's no more, that, what that means is there's no more enhancement and no more security patches coming from Microsoft. Now at Zebra, we're forward thinking. So in 2012, we've introduced the first rugged Android device. Since 2016, you know, Android, have already commanded 86 uh, percent market share and is rising, right? Um, and, and in the rugged space, it's about 30 percent and rising. So there's a widespread adoption of Android within the industrial handheld market. And you can see on the bottom of the slide, you know, over the years, for this past seven, eight years, we've already at Zebra commanded 62 percent. Uh, of that Android market share, whereas our nearest competition have only obtained about eight to nine percent uh, market share. So, I think you know it, it suffice to say that you know as as you run your business, you know truly want to consider transitioning to the Android. Uh, it really makes sense. Now, by staying with the current technology, you know. I mean, what this slide is trying to show is you're putting your warehouse operation at risk of uncertain downtime and business discontinuity, right? One failing component with high lead time to repair or product and a life, right? Such as not necessarily the mobile device, but think about your wireless access point, right? Those are your legacy too, right? Can negative affect the entire operations. In actuality, the safest decision is to modernize your mobile technology, right? These newer devices with modern Android operating system performs better than your legacy used Windows devices. Um, and, and also in addition, more intuitive Android mobile device help worker ramp up more quickly and, and makes them feel more empowered. Training is so intuitive in these newer devices because they, you know, everybody's accustomed to these Android smartphones that are out there, right? So the interface is very intuitive, and it's almost like you you don't really need to train these workers at all. So you would now let's pause a little bit and says, you know, how can Zebra or and Redlines, uh, you know, help improve worker uh, productivity, right? With these newer devices, right? Well, let's go ahead and you know, if you can see my mouse here, kind of we'll call clockwise along this wheel and we'll start with stage 1000 what does that really mean right well with zebra our platform uh devices have a, a free tool called stage now and the all intended purposes of that tool is to make it free to our customers and so that when it comes to rollout and deploying into production and uh, using stage now you can rapidly stage and configure and the these devices, you know, I mean, we're talking about thousands or not hundreds of these devices in a matter of minutes, whereas in the past it could take days and months, right? So we'll really significantly reduce that deployment time. Wrap up your app, right? The high speed of modern processors and the vast amount of memories on these mobile devices are designed to handle bandwidth heavy applications. So if you want to really leverage that, app, uh, that technology, you can, right? Uh, when we talk about slashing waste, right? A lot of times, if if you look at the user interface, you can with this newer technology, you can design application 
that what I call context aware. Depending on what's on the screen, you can make it uh, make sure that uh, from a, a user's perspective, a a relevant keypad or button can be presented, thus improving the data entry and navigation efficiency. Uh, and and then now moving on the other side at the seven o'clock, right? With the scan smarter. Well, a typical label in the warehouse have multiple barcodes, right? Instead of a worker doing two or three separate scan, you know, all relevant information can be captured in a single scan, right? So this is just what we call multi-scan. Uh, a feature is this is a feature part of Data Wedge. I mean, you just need to establish. Uh, your scanning rule, right? So it's not always applicable, but you know, once we understand what your scanning rules are, we can uh, see if that might work to enhance productivity in that sense. Uh, coordinate response, all our devices, all these Android devices that we'll talk later on, uh, does have what we call push to talk uh, capabilities to in, uh, allow for staff communications. Increased speed of return, right? Again, the device have a, a, a high res camera so you can document proof a condition by capture image of it and uh, you know such as bill landing or invoices those are other options and this will help speed up your uh, tasks so really you know that nothing stop your business right I mean keep these devices going right so with new Android device you don't have to worry you know, when will the legacy Windows mobile device be in a sale or service, you know, uh, and then preemptive time time, right? These devices all runs on battery. We uh, at Zebra, our batteries are what we call power position. And these are smart batteries. They have battery analytics that can be presented to you, uh, uh, the administrators. And, and so you can know in advance when batteries needs to be recharged or replaced or, or their performance, right? Have secured operations, right? We talk, we hear a lot about, you know, being hacked, you know, business being hacked and et cetera, et cetera. At, here at, at Zebra, we work very closely with Google to make sure we have a very strong security posture on our mobile devices. And, and we've introduced a, 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 a a, a service offering called LifeGuard for Android. We'll talk about what that is. Basically, it's really to eliminate cyber attack uh, with a very aggressive and predictive updates. Uh, Wi-Fi, right? Your current devices are running probably the first generation, if not the second generation of 802.11, right? They're probably on 2.4 uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, frequency and which is extremely crowded in the space, right? Moving on to the newer AC with five gigahertz, you have higher bandwidth, higher throughput, and better performance, right? And then on the last thing, you know, we already talked about stage now. Uh, we also understand the need to lock down the user, making sure that they are running the line of business application, be very productive, right? That's why we offer a free tool that you can, uh, as part of your staging process, uh, it's called Enterprise Home Screen. Basically, it locks down the user to their only the application that they're approved to, to, to use and uh, preventing them from uh, being non-productive, right? And, and also messing up settings and, and creating all these service call that unnecessary service call because they, they mess up the settings. So we can, with enterprise home screen, we can actually lock them down and prevent them from doing that. Now, in this, now that we have gone through the the business challenge and reasons as to why you want to consider moving on to these newer devices, let me introduce you to our Zebra Android devices for the warehouse. And, and you know, our portfolio is is why, and there's a lot of depth to our, our, uh, our portfolio. So these are just a subset of what we're presenting today. But, uh, you know, and, and even with this slide here, because of the time, we're only gonna uh, go through about three of these terminals here, the MC9300, the TC8300, and the VC8300, simply because they are just released in this quarter. And the wearable, the WT6000, um, this has a play in, its, in use cases where you want to have um, hands-free 
type of, uh, 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 you know, picking and receiving or more specifically cycle count. You're moving product, you're scanning, a lot of scan intensive, very little of data entry. Uh, and also maybe you have voice directed type of uh, application. That unit will be very uh, applicable in those use cases. MC3300 is something that we have introduced just last year. Uh, it's a very popular product. Uh, it's a for more light industrial or retail type of environment or for users that are um, more maybe, uh, you know, one a, U, a, a device that are smaller form factor, et cetera. But uh, for our warehouse users, we would uh, definitely go with the more rugged devices like the MC9300 or the TC8300. So as you can see in the slide, you know, in terms of vertical markets and application, we can go anywhere from the logistics to manufacture, to retail, uh, to government, and a couple of these units have options for code chain, right? If you're in freezer type environment, we have the specs to go down to that freezing temperature. Right, and, and a lot of times you kind of, you know your business, right? Mainly you use these mobile computing for inventory management, asset management, put away, et cetera, right? So the 9300 you see on the screen here is, uh, it's probably our, uh, it's really our third generation of the MC9000 flagship product, right? So, uh, you know, you're probably familiar if you're an existing Zebra, uh, user or symbol user, um, you'll be familiar with the 9,000, the 9,600, uh, 9,060, 9,090, 9,100, 9,200, etc. But the 9,300, we brought it to the latest, greatest uh, Android operating system with the latest, greatest uh, processing power. And we'll go into a little bit what those are. And then, of, of course, the TC8300, we introduced uh, uh, is our, our uh, uh, first gen uh, is our second generation of the TC8000 that we've introduced last year, and we've added about 12 new features or enhancements to it, and we'll go into a little bit more detail. Not necessarily cover all 12 or 20, but just highlight some of it for you. First and foremost is we want to make sure your investment is well protected in the years to come, and so we 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 put in the latest and greatest uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon. SD660 chipset, right? It's 2.2 gigahertz with four gig of memory and 32 gig of RAM, uh, flash rather. And to, to be honest with you, probably that's more power than one of your uh, desktop running in your, in your warehouse, right? Some of you might still be running XP in your warehouse, right? That's probably a 500 megahertz. So this unit will far uh, exceed that. Uh, we also, these uh, this version, as as you know, Android can move very quickly with new enhancements. So this is uh, uh, this uh, platform allows you to upgrade to Android P and Android Q. Now you might ask, what about Android R? Right? Android R, from from a Google's perspective, they have not have finalized what R or the requirements for R is or the feature sets of R. So so we're, we're working with Qualcomm, uh, the chip manufacturer, right? And also Google to, to finalize and, and confirm if R will be supported as part of the upgrade, okay? And then in terms of upgrades, you know, as long as you've got a Zebra One Care type of service contract, uh, customers are allowed to, uh, or entitled to the, the upgrade, right? With Android, you know, one thing we want to make sure, you know, we've talked about, you know, training and retraining of users. Well, with the users that are very custom to the Android devices that are probably on their smartphones, right? They're custom to that, so it's very highly intuitive uh, for them. So it's, it's again, goes back to training, it's very, uh, it becomes minimal. Now, when we talk about mobile devices, uh, one thing that we have to be cognizant of is really the battery, right? When battery goes dead, you know, or not charged or doesn't have enough capacity, it can significantly impact your productivity. So that's why we put in a seven amp hour battery, you know, uh, it's, it's a high capacity battery, you know, it's enough to, to go through three shifts. 
And we also have a fast charge uh, capability. It goes from zero to 90% capacity in under three and a half hours. And also, these are hot swappable. We put a, a uh, super cap on, on these inside these devices so that you can actually swap the battery and pop another one without having to lose your uh, your session with the hose, right? So without having to reboot and, and waste time, right? Uh, but there is a time limit there, right? By, by, I would say about five minutes. So, you know, it gives you that enough time to find the, a, 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 you know, charged up battery to put into the battery, uh, into the unit, right? And again, we talked about Power Position Plus. This is a branding name, name that we put on our battery. But it has a wealth of battery metrics that you can uh, help you uh, give you insights into, you know, um, into your battery performance, right? So we'll talk a little bit that about Power Position Console. It's a free tool that you can identify, help you identify aging battery before they impact productivity. Um, and also these, all our Zebra devices, not just the three that we mentioned today, but uh, just want to make you aware of it. It does come with a, what we call push to talk express client, right? This is a walkie talkie like type of communicator and it's no cost to you. But the, the caveat is, is that there is a limitation on this push to talk express. Uh, I would say, you know, for a very small warehouse with a small staff, that could suffice because it, it is uh, dependent on your wireless LAN, right? Is it uh, did you do voice prioritization? And also, it, it only can work within a single subnet uh, on your network. So if you have multiple subnet uh, configuration, this will not uh, be uh, push to talk. Express will not be something that you would want to. Uh, uh, that will be applicable to you in those instances where you have large a uh, warehouse, a lot of staff, I would highly suggest going with our uh, professional edition, which is the uh, Workforce Connect Push to Talk Professional. This is a cloud-based uh, subscription. It's very easy to set up and onboard. Redline can help you with that, but it gives you that uh, communication with the, within, uh, you know, with your staff uh, within your shop floor. Uh, voice, that's voice over IP. That's probably not germane in the warehouse environment, but if you do have that, we have that capability. Okay. Um, all of uh, these MC93 uh, and the TC8300 that we just introduced to you have also a high, very high resolution uh, color camera, right? So they easily capture proof of condition, or proof of compliance, or proof of service. And in the future, if you want to do augmented reality app type of application, really truly leverage the technology behind it, you can do that too. Now going uh, forward on the next slide here about wireless options, right? So we understand that a lot of the mobile devices, you most likely will also have a mobile printer, right? To print out the labels uh, for snap and ship or, or for, you know, uh, uh, you know, for, you know, relabeling or whatever, right? Uh, it comes with Bluetooth 5.0, which will be twice the speed and four times the range as your predecessor uh, units, uh, Windows mobile devices, right, out there. And so it will give you better peripheral performance in terms of response time and, and robustness, right? NFC is optional on, on our, uh, on the 9300 and the 8300, but, uh, but, uh, this NFC is really used for easy tap and pair. When I say tap and pair, you basically put the units to, together. It will actually pair up the Bluetooth. You're synced up versus having to discover uh, the, the, the devices and then pair it up that way, okay? Uh, dependable Wi-Fi connectivity, right? So these, unlike again, this is like the third fourth generation Wi-Fi that are out there, right? With 802.11 AC. So we got a two point two by two uh, multi-user mind. But what that does really mean is that, you know, it's a newer technology, it's it, the, the performance, the interference, uh, you know, it is it's significantly enhanced so that you mitigate a lot of those, those interference that you might experience today. Also enhances the roaming capabilities, uh, uh, you know, uh, that, uh, 
you know as you need in inside the the warehouse right we'll also give you a free worry free wi-fi tool we'll talk a little bit about that in a little bit uh which help you uh diagnose issues should any wi-fi issue comes up okay now this slide here is very specific to the mc9300 right um you know eight feet drop to con uh, to concrete at room temperature if you are a in operating temperature, we spec it at six feet drop to concrete, and you can repeat that 4,000 times, you know, with, uh, without any damages, right? Maybe a little nicks and cuts here, but you can be sure it'll still be operational, right? The device is seal, uh, dust seal, and watertight, so it's IP67, 65. You can submerge it in water, but I really highly don't recommend you doing that, uh, you know, but it is protected against, uh, dust and water. Ultra strong a display, these are Gorilla Glass, both on the display touch screen and also the scanner exit window, right? So that you can ensure that durability is there. And uh, so that's the spec on that one. And, and for those use cases where you need a freezer model, right? And need to go down to minus 30 degrees Celsius, we have a freezer model right? this unit will have a heater uh, inside to ensure that, you know, condensation doesn't build up and you, you, you know, you don't have that fog up of this display. For the hazardous uh, material area, uh, we also have a class one div two non-incentive uh, model configuration for you. Now, these two devices are going to uh, are going to be released uh, probably end of July and availability in August timeframe, okay? The class one diff two, probably more later on, it'll probably be um, uh, a little bit down the road, probably more in Q3, uh, later in Q3 timeframe. So we'll introduce these uh, the models in phases, but the current one that I've just talked about, the standard model are available today. Now a little bit of uh, of the uh, if you're familiar with the 9000 that had a 3.7 inch display it's a small dinky little display but you know if you do side by side comparison this is a 4.3 inch display larger real estate to to uh, to you know for your application and also we have a, a a keypad right for the users that are accustomed to having a keyboard or maybe a glove the display if you put it, there's a setting in the display so you can use it with gloves or with fingers, right? Or even a stylus if you want, right? So, um, and then of course the keypad is is very similar to the 9000, right? And it's also feel replaceable, right? Because that's probably the first thing that probably wear out over the years and you can not, you don't need to send it into Service Depot and you can actually replace it uh, out in the field. Moving a little bit, you know, these also have option for front-facing camera, and more of a more, more of a future thing for video calling or advanced locating using VLC uh, in uh, Philips lighting, light bulbs, and stuff like that, right? Um, uh, the the unit also comes with the uh, these variant uh, different variants of scan engine. You know, we still have the laser. Uh, scan engine, although I would say uh, to make it simple and straightforward, I would say, you know, most applications now you experience are 1D and 2D, right? With laser, you can only do 1D. So I would say keep it simple. You know, if you're a warehouse environment, I would say just go with the SE4850ER. This is the extended range, and it can go from three inch near and far out all the way to 70 feet. Really, truly, maybe if you currently today, you don't have a need for scanning out up to that very top shelf, maybe you only have one shelf or two shelf, maximum you're gonna scan is 10 feet. But maybe, like I say, you know, warehouse is booming, your business growing, you might have more shelf to stack it up, three or four shelves high, you know, then this comes very handy, you don't have to, it really truly in, uh, protect your investment. We also have direct part marketing, but that's more for laser edge barcodes on metal parts, and it's more on aerospace and and uh, automotive type of uh, business, right? 
If you're an existing uh, MC9000 uh, users, I have good news for you. Our, the, your cradle, you can repurpose the cradle by, by with the use of a cradle adapter, as you can see on this slide. Snap it on and off you go. It does not allow you to do communication. It also does not support fast charging. Now, moving now to the 8300 and, and specific to the, the, the 8000 spec, it's very similar to the uh, MC9300, you know, 4000 drops, six feet drop to concrete. But this particular one, if you have uh, use cases where you, uh, it's not cold storage, but maybe, you know, a deli or meat where it's not freezing cold, uh, you're not, you're not, you know, dealing with ice cream or anything like that, right? It would be freezer. But you do have a transition from cold to warm environment. We have a condensation resistant unit to uh, that will help uh, avoid build moisture built up in the device. You know, again, very similar spec as the 93. But one uniqueness about the uh, the the TC8300 is its design, right? The scan angle. As you can see in this slide, the, the, the user is scanning at the same time she's able to, to look at the display. Really reduce the or eliminate the, any risk tilt that you would experience on this unit because this, you hold it as a wand versus the MC9000 is a gun, right? So this reduction of tilt movement results in uh, what well, we calculated to approximately one hour per worker per day. And what that means, if you got 40 users, well, that's 40 hours uh, of lost productivity or 40 hours of productivity that you can gain back, right, with the use of this device. I would say position this device if you have younger type of uh, workers that are accustomed to, you know, thumbing their, their input, uh, and not demanding a, a keyboard type of entry, right, or, or a physical keyboard. Just like the 9300, it has the uh, eight, you know, the same set of scan engine. I'd say, you know, keep it simple. Go with the extended range. You do pay a little bit premium on against the standard range, but it helps protect your investment down the road. Um, you know, ecosystem of of accessories for mounting for for holstering, et cetera, that you see here, okay? And then the moving on to the, our forklift mount unit, right? This is a unit with a integrated display. We'll go a little bit more detail, but you can see that this, the keyboard and the function keys all inside is nicely situated. It's a QWERTY keypad. Uh, and for users, um, you know, basically any, any forklift application you need, right? The reason we have an integrated keyboard is that we understand in the forklift Whatever type of forklift you have, the real estate on the forklift with controls is, is very tight, very limited. So that's why we went with uh, design this particular unit. For existing for uh, you know users of, uh, of Zebra devices like the VC5070 or or VH10, um, you can use the existing mounts, right? And even the same cable. If you're using our competition type of forklift uh, units. Um, Chances are you can still use those RAM mounts that you can, uh, but you know the cabling might be uh, need to be modified, right, to adapt. But this unit is IP66 seal, watertight, dust tight. You can spray water to clean it at the end of the day, but it's it's meant for shock because forklift does not have shock absorber, so it it will uh, it will you know. Uh, get all the vibration back out to the uh, you know up to the unit or to the users extreme temperature right let me kind of go back to this this device will will go down to it's designed to have a spec that goes down to minus 30 degrees celsius right and we'll talk a little bit more about what that means right so when we talk about it's standard with minus 30 but if you have a freezer type of application you would want to get the freezer option because it will have a heater, uh, heated unit uh, to ensure that condensation doesn't build up in the within the unit. Okay, uh, a, a quick sh a snapshot of all the features in this one. It has an eight-inch display, a high-res display. Uh, it's it's a one thousand nip, um, which means you can use it for outdoor use. Okay. Uh, so 
becomes rather standard, right? 500 nips is more like indoor, you know, anything outdoor, you really want to have a 1,000 nips for visibility, right? Again, the display is, is capable to, uh, for, uh, you know, glove, right, uh, for touch screen. Uh, and um, and uh, so we'll move on on this one. Again, same platform as the 93, the 83. Uh, with the same processors, a common uh, platform, and, and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are similar, are the same chipset that are in, in those units are in here. Moving on to scanning, um, you can either do a corded or cordless scanner, right? Uh, some of our customers uh, that the transition opted to go with cordless because there's nothing to to uh, you know, to get in the way, right? So, so the user you saw on the right here, he's using our Zebra ultra rugged green scanner. I call it green because it's one in the industry with just that green color, right? It's it's got the same same scanner engine on there. It's an ER engine that you would go with that can go from three inch to seventy feet. Okay. With that, now we kind of cover all the hardware. Now let's kind of transition over to the 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 software aspect of it because you know uh you know uh majority we understand the majority of the warehouse environment are probably running some type of a wms system and most likely are running telnet application if you're one of those customers well we have good news for you right there's a easy migration with to transition you from windows to android right and this is working with our partner, right, Avante, which is formerly Wavelength. They've got a product called Wavelength Velocity, which is essentially uh, a, a telnet. Uh, it comes preloaded, pre-licensed on the VC83, the MC93, and the TC83 uh, terminals. So there's no backend modification or coding requirement. Uh, you know, uh, so you can actually go from green screen to green screen, right? And and Avante has a web portal that you can answer about five questions import your existing windows uh telnet configuration you get an email back with some staging barcodes you scan those and in, in, and instantly your uh configuration is ported over to this velocity or all touch terminal emulation you can be up and running in no time okay now of course now we talked about a little bit transition. We also want to talk about one major differentiation on our Zebra device, right? So, you know, a, a superior hardware sol solution takes more than just hardware, right? So and that's why our Zebra devices comes with what we call mobility DNA. It's really a suite of software, utilities, and application to boost productivity, minimize the complexity, and simplify integration and management. Kind of boils down to really Try to. We want to enhance that end user experience for you as you migrate over to this platform, right? There are 70, 17 value added tools that we put on our devices. 13 are free. 10 of those are preloaded and ready to use right out the box, right? Like for instance, data wedge, right? For scanning, right? Stage now for staging your devices. Uh, we already kind of talked about enterprise home screen, right? Um, those are already preloaded and pre-licensed. So, but I want to want do the time limitation. So what I want to do is just focus on a few to bring it into your attention, right? That you want might want to consider, <coughs> right? Uh, Power position console. It's a free tool. It's part of Zebra One Care that will give you visibility via a dashboard into your mobile battery performance. So you can make decisive action to prevent aging battery from impacting your productivity. So it kind of in the back of the screen here is the dashboard. So you can actually see the performance of your battery. Are they being charged, the health, et cetera. And you can also customize alerts. You can also send alerts to an end user and say, I'm decommissioning your battery. Please bring your unit back in, right? So, so it's, a, it's a something that we know, uh, that we hear from our customers in the, in, in the past, right? You know, these devices wire the battery. We don't have visibility in the battery and they really impact our productivity. Worry free Wi Fi. This is a, again, a free tool 
uh, that will ensure that you have visibility and understanding what's going on when it comes to Wi-Fi connectivity and roaming. Because when things don't work, people say, is this your handheld, right? When in fact, majority of the time, it's part of the infrastructure, it's the coverage, et cetera. But you can't, you don't know what you don't know, you can't see because it's all, in my opinion, it's kind of black magic, right? With Wi-Fi. So with this tool, you'll be able to diagnose it. Stage now, we kind of talked to that again. You can, you know, with this, it, it, it's, uh, you can deploy devices in a matter of minutes by scanning a barcode that you have created from the Stage Now server tool, right? It's very robust, a lot of features. You know, it takes probably a whole day just to cover that Stage Now features. But, you know, these devices all comes with GMS. Uh, you know, it's a GMS operating system, which means it has Play Store, Google, all the added stuff. But if you have, if you, if you are as a customer have privacy concern, you'd say, I don't want, I'm not using any Google mobile first services. I want to restrict the device. You can, by doing, uh, scanning a barcode within stage now to restrict that unit from having, uh, Google mobile services and reporting data back to Google server. Okay. And then with lifeguard, um, this is a, uh, it's inclusive of Zebra One Care Service. It provides security patches and enhancement throughout the life cycle of the product, right, of the device, okay? So in this illustration here, what we're trying to show is if you say, hey, you know, I want to go with a, with, with a smartphone or whatever, right? It doesn't have a scanner. It's probably not really something that you even want to consider. But just want to make sure you understand with any consumer devices, the life cycle is about two to three years on the average, right? And once once that product or that operating system uh, or Google has moved on to the newer operating system, that old operating system isn't going to be supported. That There's no security support from Google. Whereas if you go with our Zebra devices, you know, these have product life cycles of five years, right? We 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 can tell you it's a five-year life cycle. So for instance, you know, 93, 83 was introduced this year. You know, you go five years out, uh, you know, from there, right? Uh, and then also five years after end of sale so that you can um, have still uh, uh, service and repair on those. Now, in terms of lifeguard, once a product is end of sale, we'll still give you, as long as you're on service contract, a two-year uh uh, lifeguard uh, security support for those devices. And then we can also give you an additional one year if you chose to, to, uh, to, to do so, right? So if you add up the numbers, you can go come up to either eight to 10 years, depending on your preference. So as we come towards the end to kind of summarize, you know, why you want to go with Zebra or Redline? Well, I mean, I, I hope today's presentation will, will, help you to understand that, you know, with Redline's, you know, I would say combined experience of more than 40 years of experience, you know, they got the donate, domain vertical expertise in this industry, uh, you know, along with Zebra's leading edge uh, technologies, we can help make that transition to an Android platform, to a more mobile uh, a, a platform and more seamlessly for you, right? And then just kind of say, you know, everybody, you know, rest assured you're dealing with a leader in this space. You know, just some s stats here. You know, over 2 million devices we have sold uh, and shipped uh, today, right? And we're about 55% of our shipments are Android. That means that, you know, we're already moving away. Our, our customers are already moving away from the Windows mobile devices and and well positioned to move on to the Android devices. So with that, I think, you know, the opportunity, the ways, it's just a question of when you want to make that decisive move, right? Okay, with that, I think that's it. And uh, we'll kind of go into, I'll turn it back to uh, Adriana. A Adrian, are you rather? Excellent, thank you ever so much, Matthew. So thanks for everybody joining us today. Thanks for our presentation. Matthew did an awesome job. Thanks for Zebra Technologies for sponsoring this event today. So here are our contact details and please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. We hope to see you again on another Redline Solutions webinar. Have a great day, bye.